My name's Kuro. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Today, I'll be talking about how I started dating the most adorable girl in the world. <laughs> I mean, my childhood friend, all because of a Halloween party. It all started when I and Miyoko were walking home from school together. I gazed at her, admiring how beautiful she looked. It looked like she was deep into thought again, but damn, she was so freaking cute. I always wondered how someone so pretty and attractive like her could be so unconfident. Hey, um, Coral. Yeah? What's up, Miyoko? I forgot to tell you I checked out the drama club yesterday, and there were so many people there it overwhelmed me. So I check it now. I don't think that I will be able to join. Miyoko always loved to sing, even when we were in elementary school. I heard her sing a few times, and let me tell you, her singing is beautiful. <laughs> it literally made me on the verge of tears. I was the only person Miyoko felt comfortable singing in front of, which made me feel special. But anyway, a beautiful talent like Miyoko's shouldn't go unnoticed. I suggested she should join the drama club a week ago. To be honest, I'm surprised she actually checked it out. She's always had huge stage fright. Every time we would do a concert in elementary school, Miyoko would always have a panic attack and end up being excused to the bathroom so she could vomit. But it seemed like she really wanted to butt her stage fright and fear of people are stopping her. I was really worried about her. Then I remembered there was a Halloween party in our school that was coming up in a few weeks. I wanted to help Miyoko overcome her fear of social events. So I thought taking Miyoko to the Halloween party was a great start. So, mm, Miyoko. Are you excited about the Halloween party, babe? A guy that goes to our school asked a girl that also goes to our school. <gasps> I and Miyoko were walking past them as they talked. Hmm, how about we match? I could be Hollow Queen and you could be the Joker. That's a great idea. I can't wait. As I listened to their conversation, my eyes widened and my face turned all red. Now that I think about it, me and Miyoko going to the Halloween party together kind of seems like a date. Kuro, is something wrong? Um, I... I was... I was just wondering what you'd be doing this Halloween? I don't think I'll be doing anything this year besides giving out candy to the little kids. Oh, I'm taking Yui trick-or-treating with her friends. Yui really doesn't want me going trick-or-treating with her and says she and her friends can handle themselves and know their way around the neighborhood, but my mom was being paranoid and made me go with her anyway. That's nice. You can stop by my house if you want. I would love to see you in, in her cute little costume. Miyoko said with a giggle. Her smile was so adorable. Yeah, I'd be happy to. I really want to help Miyoko as much as I can, and taking her to the party would be a great way to help. And no, it's, it's not a date. It's just a friend helping out a friend. Yui doesn't need me anyway. She and her friends can handle themselves. I'm sure lots of kids her age are going trick-or-treating by themselves, too, I thought to myself. I tried forcing the words out of my mouth, but I couldn't bring myself to say it. It really seemed like I was asking her out on a date. Later, we had to go our separate ways. Bye, Kuro. See you tomorrow. Miyoko said as she ran towards where her home was, waving to me as she did so. I waved back. The next day, at school, during lunch, I sat at a table. Miyoko started running toward me. She sat down across from me, panting. Her face was all beet red and covered in sweat. Miyoko, are you okay? Kuro, I, I don't know what to do. Miyoko's eyes teared up. It, it's, it's gonna be okay. Please, d don't cry. Just calm down and tell me what's wrong. So, um, a guy in my class asked me out to the Halloween party. I was so shocked. I dropped my sandwich onto my plate and stared down at my lap. I don't know why I was so shocked. Of course someone like Miyoko was gonna get asked out. 
I should be surprised she was never really popular with the guys. A feeling came over me. It was a, a bitter feeling, I think. I don't know why I felt so bitter. I wanted to feel happy for Miyoko, but for some reason, I wasn't happy at all. I was on the verge of tears. Miyoko needed someone who could support her and cheer her on, and I wasn't going to let this bitter feeling stop me from that. I forced a smile, then reached my hand toward her face. My finger wiped a tear from her eye. That's great, Miyoko. I'm so happy for you. This is exactly what you needed. This will be so good for you. You should totally go with him. You know, it's okay to feel overwhelmed and scared, but please, I pat her on the head. Please go with him. Will you do that for me? For some reason, saying that hurt me so much. Kuro, are you crying? I didn't realize I was crying. I just said, oh, well, yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm so happy for you. So call me if anything happens. And if you need me to kick some butt, I will. Okay? There's really no need. She said with a timid smile. <laughs> Thank you, Kuro. I really needed to hear that. You, you think I'll be okay? I gave her a reassuring smile and put my hand on her shoulder. Miyoko, I know you'll be okay. <laughs> you are the best. It was the evening of Halloween, and I walked through the neighborhood behind Yui and her friends, who were skipping, laughing, and joking around. I didn't bother dressing up. My Louis brother didn't even bother dressing up. I couldn't stop thinking about Miyoko and how she was doing, and if that idiot was treating her right. This was all so new to Miyoko, and I was really worried she might have a panic attack or something. I imagined her laughing with that guy, enjoying her time, and dancing with him. Thinking about how much fun she could be having with him bothered me a lot for some reason. But also, the thought of her having an anxiety attack bothered me a lot too. But what really bothered me, even most, was not knowing how she's doing. As Yui and her friends went from house to house collecting candy, followed by me, of course, I couldn't get my mind off Miyoko. I stood in front of a house as Yui and her friends stood on the porch, ringing the doorbell to get more candy. I took my phone out of my pocket and texted Miyoko. How's it going, is what I texted her. Me and the girls continued walking on the sidewalk. I checked my phone. No answer. I stopped walking and stood there. The girls noticed and turned around with confused looks on their faces. I... I gotta go! Yay! I had to see Miyoko. I had to know how she was doing. I arrived at the Halloween party that was held at the school gym. It was crowded with tons of people. Their costumes were pretty cool and creative. Most of them had face paint on. The gym was decorated, Halloween themed, of course. There was loud music playing, and I pushed through the crowd, searching for Miyoko. As soon as I entered the crowd, my body froze because of the scene in front of me. Will you be my girlfriend? Daiki held the bouquet and confessed his love to Miyoko. His smile made the entire space glow. I... I agree. <laughs> Daiki's confidence seemed to grow as he heard his buddies cheering. He slowly approached, leaned slightly, and was about to kiss Miyoko's lips. I, I thought maybe that would be a happy ending to her story, but it, it seemed like Daiki was whispering something to Miyoko. Thank you for your cooperation to make me win this bet. Miyoko's face suddenly became pale. Daiki pushed the bouquet into Miyoko's hand and kissed her on the lips before leaving. Some boys shouted for Daiki because they thought he was so cool, while others were unsatisfied. A boy standing next to me scowled and said, You're lucky this time, if not because of that stupid girl. We won't be long. Next time, we'll choose a smart one so you can't win the bet. 
I was stunned when I heard it before realizing Miyoko was stumbling to her knees. She still didn't expect that she was just a pawn in a bet of some unruly boys. I ran to help Miyoko up. Her friend saw me as if she had grabbed a life buoy and quickly hugged my arm and her eyes started to fill with tears. I was puzzled about what to do in this situation. The crowd was still pointing and I pulled Miyoko out of the room. We stood under a big tree. Miyoko was still sobbing. I was so angry. That jerk. Miyoko, I'm so sorry. Miyoko interrupted me with a hug. She buried her face into my chest, sobbing. I couldn't help but blush a little. Hey, hey, uh, it's gonna be okay. I said with a smile that was supposed to be reassuring, but it came off awkward. I patted her back awkwardly. I was never the best at comforting people. Still though, Miyoko didn't deserve to be treated like this, and I knew that for a fact. Maybe we should go somewhere quieter. She nodded and stood up as well. I took a good look at Miyoko as we walked into the halls of the school. She was dressed up as Sailor Moon. She looked way prettier than Sailor Moon though. I met Miyoko one night on a mountain, even though it was a really long time ago, probably when we were six. I never forgot one detail of that night. I finally realized what I was feeling. I was going to confess to Miyoko on that hill. Remember this hill? I wasn't expecting her to remember. It's been so long. I thought Miyoko probably forgot. Yeah, I remember this. She said, which had me in shock. This is the hill we met on, right? Y yeah. <laughs> How did you... <laughs> I've always remembered that day, Miyoko said. When we made it to the top of the hill, she stood in front of me, looking more beautiful than ever. I could see the moon shining behind her. I remember you sitting out here crying because your classmates called you a rat. I came up here, sat with you, and told you that rats are cute. That was the night we became friends. I could never forget it. Listen, Miyoko, I... I held her hands, stared deep into her big, beautiful eyes, and took a deep breath. I've always loved you. Right when I said that, a shooting star dashed across the sky, as if it was congratulating me. Miyoko's eyes widened, and her face turned red. She looked like she was about to cry. I... I love you too, Kuro. She threw herself into my arms. I smiled and held her. She was mine now, and it felt very good to know that. Kuro, I... I want to try taking out the drama club again tomorrow. Could you come with me? I feel more comfortable when you're around. Of course, I said. Thank you. Miyoko sneezed. Her <laughs> sneeze was so freaking cute. It had me blushing so hard. S sorry It's fine. Are you cold? Mm, a little. I took off my hoodie and put it on her. Here, wear this. I don't want you catching a cold. But, but, girl, you're wearing a t-shirt. I'll be fine. I can handle the cold. I was shivering so much, but I hope she didn't notice. And then, Miyoko suddenly kissed me. Two minutes later, she stopped and stepped away. Her cute face turned red, and she started laughing awkwardly. So sorry I don't know what came over me. I was completely frozen in shock. That was the first time a girl ever kissed me. I had so many mixed feelings, I couldn't even think straight. It took me so long to process what just happened that by the time I'd finished spacing out, Miyoko had gotten over her embarrassment and started giggling. <laughs> she held my hand, which had me startled. Let's go to my house. It's much warmer there. We can watch a movie and I'll make us some sugar cookie. That'd be great. I know, it's Halloween, but let's not watch any horror movies, okay? They scare me so much. We both started laughing. <laughs>